Hello everyone, good day from Central Florida, USA. Welcome to Powerful Couple Journey where we show you our random day-to-day -day lives here in the US. For today's video, I am going to share to you my honest advice to those that are aspiring J1 teachers or J1 teachers that are already here in the United States of America. So let's dive in and let the journey begin. <music> Establish yourself first. What do you mean by this? If you are an aspirant J1 teacher wanting to teach here in the US, make sure that you are prepared emotionally, spiritually, physically, and most of all, financially. It is really important to know where your funds are coming from because as Filipinos, we know that we need to have loans to start with the applications, not unless you already prepared it for a couple of years and you already stash like 500,000 to a million pesos, then you are good to go. Establishing yourself also, especially for those that are already here in the United States of America, if it's your first year or you're just here for a couple of months, then you need to make sure that you have your housing already, you have known how much are the tax, how much would be the cost of living of a specific state. Speaking of that, if you are watching this video, please comment down below of which city or state are you from here in the United States of America or if you are watching all over the world, comment down below if you are watching this in a specific area you are from. Establishing yourself first is very important because that will determine if you can stay here in the US teaching the kids for three to five years. J1 teachers with 212E rule in the Philippines has a stamp in your visa and DS 2019. If you are confused with J1 waiver, and J1 212E rule, well, that's basically the two year home residency requirement. And you know that already as J1 teachers. So if you wanted to know more about the videos regarding that, you could see some of the videos I have here created with our playlist. That way you'll be guided. And um, this is based on my real life experience as a J1 teacher here in the US. I'm just wanting to share how I was able to process and make my papers and my life as a J1 teacher here suitable for me and hoping this will also inspire you, motivate you, and educate you about living life here in the US as a J1 teacher. I might not be able a J1 teacher now because I am so blessed that I have my green card but I really wanted to share my ideas on how I was able to cope up as a J1 teacher from all the struggles, all the challenges, and now to having established my life here little by little in the United States of America. The second thing you have to do is lean to your purpose. That includes creating a budget. You need to make sure that once you see how much you're going to be earning in a year let's just say i'm just going to throw numbers here let's just say fifty six thousand dollars in a year then you need to know how much is the tax i'm not a tax expert i'm just gonna throw numbers there let's just say take 20 percent out of that and that goes to your vision dental medicare or tax but in the first and second year as a J1 teacher, that will be given back to you as long as you file it correctly. My mistake, I didn't file it correctly. So during that time in the year 2019, I am so naive and just wanting to be in the US. It's a dream of mine. It's like it's my passion to teach all of those things, but I really didn't dig deeper. So I just submitted my papers through TurboTax. This is not sponsored. I'm just telling you what are the processes I had. But then 
now a lot of J1 teachers already know how much they're gonna be getting in the first or second year and they're enjoying their life because all of those taxes that they had contributed for a year was refunded to them and it's very satisfying feeling that you have your refund for the first two years as a J1 teacher. With H1B, it's a different story. Unfortunately, I can't give enough information with H1B because I don't have knowledge for that. If you wanted to do your research, that is very good. And do lean on your purpose all the time. Think about your family. Think about your whys. Think about why you are here. Think about all the struggles, all the challenges that you surpass, and all of the success that you already had in the Philippines. And if you are here in the US, enjoy, make yourself comfortable, but at the same time, always think about your budget because we are given three years to five years teaching as an international teacher through a J1 Teacher Exchange Cultural Program. So, make sure that you always have your budget in place do it every month do it every week if you'd like to budgeting is really important the other thing that i would like to say is savor every moment you are here in the u.s already you enjoy every places that you can go states that you can go if you have your car then that's wonderful because you can go drive anywhere else you wanted to then just make sure that you have their driver's license your car has insurance that way you'll be protected and i know some people are also throwing like life insurances just be careful for that okay just know the company first before you dive into life insurances i've been with that before so just make sure that you are on the right path and as a Christian, I always pray to the Lord, like, Lord, guide me, help me, what are the steps that I'm going to do? Because I really didn't thought that I'm going to be here in the U.S. as a J1 teacher to getting my waiver and eventually have my green card through my U.S. citizen spouse. If you are single, then you have a plus point if you know that this is your path go to your church, go to Filipino communities, ask them that you are willing to have a lifetime partner, which is a U.S. citizen, then if God is leading you to that, God is going to give that to you as long as it is aligned in His will. So savor every moment. If you have the chance to go on a plane ride to different states or the 50 states of the United States then do it it's really nice to explore America as a J1 teacher especially now it's summertime it is very nice to enjoy at the same time making sure you stick with your budget and the last thing that I'm gonna say is create an exit plan so like for example you are starting to become a J1 teacher this year in 2024 make sure that you are already counting your years let's just say 2024 25 26 27 28 29 you're gonna have your five years the first three years that's gonna be your ds 2019 and then you're gonna have your extension for your fourth and fifth year create an exit plan if you have a family already in the philippines then make sure that whatever plans you have put let's just say you have your business there or you have your house you have your farm you have your business establishments and all other things that you might think of that will elevate your life in the u.s then that is really awesome creating an exit plan is very nice because you know where you will be at after five years if you are single then that would be a very good thing if god has plans for you to get married here you dive in into a j1 teacher getting your waiver 
waiving the 212E rule, home residency requirement, to becoming a green card holder and eventually a U.S. citizen. All of us has plans in the world, all of us has plans for our family, but then make sure that you enjoy yourself, make every day worth living, and we hope that this channel is helping you, motivating you, uplifting your spirit, and we are leading you to the Divine One that makes everything wonderful for our lives and our families. This channel is dedicated for those that are seeking for J1 Waiver. We have a J1 Waiver Helping Hands group. This is where you could find other J1 teachers and other J1 in particular wanting to know about how to waive the 212E rule or home residency requirement. I also have my website powerfulcoupljourney.com that will help you when it comes to filing your papers if you really wanted to have some statement of reasons or the cover letters and samples that will help you as well to do your forms submitting to the USCIS and the Department of State. Please comment down below what are your specific questions and things that you wanted to know and I'll be happy to answer that. That is based on my experience. I am not an immigration lawyer. I am just sharing my experience from being a J1 teacher with 212E rule to a green card holder. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have a great day. God bless everyone. See you in my next video.